So I've decided that I'm going to go running today. I'm not running in a couple of days. It's just me deciding to rest. So instead of taking the elevator, I decided to take the stairs and I'm going to go running. I intend to do 5k. So inshallah, I'm able to do that. Oh, this is the beginning of the vlog. So I'm supposed to do introduction. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Aisha. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I just have a parcel that I want to unbox. I know what's inside already, but I just want to show you some of the new books that I got. Well, one I requested for, and one I got gifted. So, so the first book is this book called Dust Child by I still haven't really got out how to pronounce this woman's name, but she's the author of uh, The Mountain Sink that I read in March so this is our latest book and it's going to come out uh officially it's coming out on the 20th i think this is just the like maybe the add back i don't know but this is actually coming out on the 20th of april 2023 which is dope but yeah this is nice um also included a picture of the author and a mother which is beautiful mashallah and a bookmark and i'm always on the lookout for bookmarks so this is one next one is this book i want to unbox it off camera and just see but I, I think i know what's inside but i'll unbox it off camera this is the book and it is from Fort Estates. I believe it was I shall have put this book on my reader and I requested for it. So yeah, it's a very small book, but pretty sure I'll enjoy it. Um, oh yeah, it's coming out uh February 2023. Oh I think I don't know. I honestly don't know how this things work, but it says it's already out and it says it's coming out February 2023. Well, maybe I'll save it for Shop 3 September because it's a short stick collection, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, yeah, these are two books that I just acquired. We love it. I have sunscreen on my face. Every time I go running, I always put on sunscreen because we don't want sun damage because of running. I'll do my post run stretch because I need to stretch out the muscles. I didn't end up doing 5k because I was really tired. I did 4.2k which is close to love but honestly i was just tired so yeah i'm going to do post run stretch uh wash my bathroom while listening to audiobooks because i've gotten back to audiobooks you guys since i listened to don't touch my hair by emma Daviri, i've been listening to audiobooks every time so but yeah that's what i'm gonna go do now see i mean this one is entering my eyes but i love how it is coming out on even front camera one more just one more till tomorrow You can see the important thing are the space around the subject and how you frame it. And now you see your canvas. And you can tell that these spaces have to be here and that can help you to transfer your drawing. Yeah? That's the flower. The flower, and can you see that the bus is in the middle? The finish, the edge of the bus is in the middle of the canvas. Yeah. 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 So you can start to, with a line and just make a proportion. Yeah. Yes, you've got to take it out. Yeah. Yeah. 
See Van Gogh in the making. Mashallah. Van Gogh. Not even in the making. Though. Can we see? This is Dana's one. Uh -uh. She knows how to drive the. It's like out of face. <laughs> I just keep thinking that she's painting something. And that's really nice. And everyone has really nice ones. And this is so nice. Oh, shut up. Wait, let me do it this way because it's so cool. Okay. Wow, you should get my own. I want everyone painted in it. What's your name? John. The white is one. Oh, she's over. Where? Oh, can I see yours? This is so nice. <laughs> I really like it. I knew yours was going to be nice. I just knew it was going to be nice. Yeah. And very mad at Kim Lee. <laughs> no, no. That's really nice. Everyone is nice. Everyone knows how to pay. No. white i literally wore white <laughs> to a painting place it doesn't know why the bell was like why did i wear white why are you laughing i need to catch on my laughter in that <laughs> really that's why you're laughing <laughs> you are like you are oh my God. anyway yeah so it was really nice we're going to eat well me i'm going to eat now because along with it but me but i seem to have an obsession with plant-based flower yes, things because Anyway, go see program. Van Gogh PLC. This is acrylic paint and this is oil painting. So, what's the question, Mosisha? Buy a babe. This is what the is about. Ah, yes, now. Nah. The... Oh, so, welcome to the Ijabi in Abaya version <laughs> of the vlog. Featuring me, that Missy has not been in the vlog since yeah. since graduation. <laughs> really? You've not been in the vlog since graduation. Uh, you told me my own my own vlog since suffering. My YouTube is suffering. But yeah, please go and follow our YouTube channel. Every day she posts yeah. erratically. <laughs> but yeah, we are going for a girly dates. Yeah. And we are doing Abaya girls. Masha Allah, I've not won an Abaya in a while. I miss Abeni on a day like this. I really miss Abeni. Yeah, it would have been nice for three of us. Yeah, because Abeni is a... She's an Abaya babe. 
I'm going to buy a bill. We're going straight. But, oh, don't worry, I'll do our feature. So, what are you wearing? Who are you wearing? I'm wearing the Abaya Company. It's a set. My shoes are ASOS. I'm not going to buy that. Oh, yeah, those are our shoes. Best is okay. So, that one, Marie. <laughs> oh, we are kind of to winning. winning. <laughs> but, yeah. Ah, I'm gonna drop phone by the way. This is what we are going to. Are we going? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very cozy. And But yeah, drinks very nice. <laughs> hey. So I was just editing this video and I realized that I didn't wrap up or include any specific like rant section. So I just wanted to talk about something that has been a major theme for my week this past like week and that is loneliness. <laughs> when I say like it's a major theme, I don't mean like I'm lonely. I just mean like this is like something that has reoccurred in some of the conversations I've had this week. So at work, we have this like podcast thing that we do where like members of the company come together to have like conversations about a specific topic. And one of the topics that we discussed is loneliness. Um, and me and my fat mates, Raima, we also had like conversations about like loneliness yesterday. So I just wanted to talk about it. So uh, if you've followed me on this channel, so like the beginning, beginning <laughs> when we started early this year, uh you might have come across me talking about like my experience as an international student i would include a link somewhere and loneliness was like a like a thing of something that like i mentioned and touched upon but i think even then when i was talking about it i did not understand the full extent of how i'd experienced loneliness until like recent times like it just eats you like it like it just eats you suddenly and not downplay like people in the west that like you know loneliness has been a major part of their life but like if you're coming from a communal culture and you have to experience loneliness that inherently comes in migration to the, to the west it, it can be very shocking to the system i think one of the major things that i noticed is that when i first got here and i was lonely it did not immediately occur to me because in Nigeria, I'm the kind of person that I always have people around me, like people are always around me. And because of that, I always have to extricate myself from people to recharge and then come back to, to the society. But so when I started experiencing loneliness, I didn't I didn't think it was it I didn't think it was something that I would experience because again I'm a person that likes getting away from people to enjoy my me time. But I think that experience kind of taught me that everything is balanced, like everything in life has to do with balancing so because i always had people around me there was need to always extricate myself and recharge away from people and then go back into society but when you don't have people around you constantly well except for like mobile phones and stuff then there's no need to you know get away and then you are always alone and then the loneliness the reality of loneliness eats you i remember that time I, <laughs> so there was a Tesco very close to my accommodation, my student accommodation, and I would walk there just so that I can speak to like the security guys, like people working at the counter, just so like I have interaction because you know it was COVID and you know that added like an extra layer of, of loneliness to it. The to and fro of this is that if you are myself a person, so somebody that 
you know you always need to get away from people to recharge and then go back into society and you find yourself experiencing loneliness don't see it as a betrayal of your personality traits so when you find yourself wanting to have people around you don't see it as oh but i'm the kind of person that I don't like having people around me why do i suddenly want to have people around me loneliness is a thing and it will creep up on you you won't even know that you're experiencing loneliness and it, it leaves like a deep scar in your psyche <laughs> it leaves a deep scar in your psyche so yeah cherish the people around you cherish that notion of having people around you and again when you find yourself wanting to have people around you even though that inherently not somebody that likes having people around you you know listen to that part of you be conscious of that part of you because it's loneliness and loneliness kills like people actually die of loneliness um one of my biggest fears when i first came to this country was dying alone in my room and nobody finding out for years because that's an actual thing that happens a lot so yeah that's just what i wanted to rant about because you know mm, we rant <laughs> But yeah, uh, if you've watched this video up until this point, comment the UG emoji. So like, you know, hugging each other because we need people. We need people around us. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.